right, so today on Local Boys Garage, we got part six coming at you today. Uh, today is March 22nd. It's about 40 degrees outside. It has been getting gradually better. Colder overnight, but kind of like mid 40s to upper 60s during the day. So it is getting better outside. Um, I've been out in my shed more, just wearing a sweatshirt. Uh, I got a coat on the night because it's pretty late at night already. Uh, working late on this tractor, trying to get her done. Um, I have done a lot since the last video. I've been working on the exhaust parts. Um, the lights, I've just been trying to figure out more, trying to get down what I want to do. Those will probably be in a future, this plain old update video, probably during late spring. I'll probably do that. I'm just trying to get the tractor functional right now so we can use it. Um, so let's take a look what I've been right, doing. So I have some parts laid out here that I've been modifying. Um, I did, I don't know if I put this in the last video, I did get this, if you can see it, I did get this uh, connection off this uh, elbow, elbow off the engine. Now, please describe, this thing was uh, very old. It took some hacking to get off. It was a pain. So I just took the grind and I started going at it until I really cut deep and I was, had enough. I was about to cut it off. Cut deep when I stopped for a second, grabbed the big old pliers, yanked, and the thing came off. So, pretty happy with that. I was just going to put this straight on there, but that came up with a better idea. So we have this like little coupler type thing, but I made it into a sleeve. Now this sleeve will screw onto this part on the engine right here. Screw on as tight as I possibly can. Then I cut this down to the length that fit. Took lots of sanding and grinding to get this to fit right. This had big elbows like this does. Like, see the ridge? It has that ridge. See, the exhaust was too small to fit all over this ridge. But the way it looked, it looked fine to fit on this part. So this was the same way this was. It seemed that it fit on this part, but not on this part. So I grinded both sides down that it'd be completely smooth the whole way over. So that took a little while and a lot of grinding. But now I got it that it fits very tightly inside of the end of the tube. So that's all ready to go. Uh, I need to put this piece on, and then put this piece on. And then over here, after finding the perfect fit, we went through a one and a half inch exhaust clamp. That was too small. We have a one and seven eighths exhaust clamp. That was too big. And here, the perfect exhaust clamp, a one and three quarter inch country line muffler clamp. So that fits pretty good. So that's the one I'm gonna use. Uh, this was the end of the pipe that I cut off all mangled and trapped. That can go right in the scrap bin. But, have been making good progress on this thing. I haven't started in a while. Uh, here's the grinder I've been using. But, good progress has been made on this. Um, I was at my local hardware store today. I was looking at the lights and I have an idea. I saw these lights, they're long strips. They're about the size of an iPhone 8. And they're about, I'd say, they're about maybe this long, about. And the ends are a little bit bigger. They have like little circular ends, but they're only about this wide. And I think it's like two for like $70 or something. They're all LED and they're all really nice. So I was thinking I can do one right here, one right here. Just make a new plate for in here. So I might do that instead of mounting, where are they? Where are they? There they are. These big behemoths on here, like so, like we were gonna do. But we'll see. Um, I might buy them because they're just nice lights, so I might just have them. For $70, I have some gift cards I'll use up, and I might buy them. So that might be a good idea because LEDs seem to be really bright, no matter what the size of them are. For two on the front of this thing, I think it might be good. So I might pick those up one of these days and I'll have to make a whole new plate, but we're gonna have to fabricate brackets for the other ones anyhow. So I might do that. I might make a new plate here. It's gonna take some fabricating because this has a curve in it. It goes up to a peak and then comes back down. But what I can do, I can just take this piece, lay it on another piece of steel, trace it, there we go. And then all I have to do is put the little lights in and then all good. Then I want to make these lights, no matter how I make it, that I can take it back to the way it looks now. 
Like if I make the lights on the side, I'd make it the brackets can come off and the little um, wire connectors are like unpluggable that I can just take them right off for a tractor show or whatever. And this plate that I can put it back on. Exhaust is gonna stay the same though, because I think it's just looking cool. But I'm sorry if you hear the big wind sounds because it's very windy tonight. Um, so I'll bring you back and show you the progress that I made on this thing tonight. Um, hopefully I can get it all wrapped up tonight. So I think I can, so I'll be back in a little bit and show you the progress that I've made. All right, everybody. I got the exhaust on. It's all tightened down. It's all ready to go. Uh, I got the clamp on, got it all shoved on, got it all tightened up. And as you can see, this thing, I'm really shaking. I'm shaking the whole tractor. It's rock solid. Uh, I had to cut it off yet. Um, I had to do some stuff underneath. A couple major little touch-ups. But, let's see if it starts. I haven't had this run in like two weeks. Excuse the wind. one problem and you find two more. This little prime. Come on, baby. Well, she might need a little starter ether. It's been a little while since she be running, but man, that sounds like a nice tune when it's cranking. So, let's give her a little shot and see what happens. Pause the video here. All right, let's give it a shot, Ethan. See what happens. As I said, it hasn't been running in quite a while. Put the air cleaner back on right away. So, it runs. Oh my gosh. You know what? You know what? You know what I gotta do? Take this marker right here. Up on here. Straight pipe. Woo! It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Check mark. Let's go. Straight pipe is done, son. So now, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna grease it. Headlights are on pause. So, look at that. They're all crossed off, basically. It's all done. So, I'm running the shed real quick. I'm gonna grab a cover pin. I'm gonna put the hood back on. Even though I have to take it right back off tomorrow, because I wanna blow off the engine, it has a lot of grinder dust on it. But, man, does that thing run good. Um, man, I just wanna take it for a drive. I, I think I'm gonna take it for a drive yet tonight. I'm just so excited. That thing sounds amazing. I don't even know what I'm doing. I thought about doing a little mock-up headlight for tonight. 
I have this light bar. I might duct tape it just like that. Or like this. Give myself a little light. I think I might do that. I'm gonna take this thing for a spin. So, that is all for part six. I might add a little video clip after this um, of tomorrow when I grease it. But that is it for part six. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the tune-up of this tractor and a little bit of modifications. Let me tell you, I really enjoyed it. I did this mostly by myself. I really enjoyed working on it. I can't wait to start my next project now. So stay tuned for the next project. But let me know down in the comment section what you think of this series that I did. If you like these series where I go through and I work on stuff and I tell you what's wrong, what I'm doing, and what I want to do, um, tell me if you like that. Um, this exhaust pipe, you know how it's all like this color and stuff that will be painted this summer just like the headlights i'm gonna do later so that's all gonna be in a later video basically an update on the ford later on um but i'd like to thank you all for watching my videos please like comment and subscribe when you subscribe hit the bell on the end for all the notifications and updates so thank you all for watching hope you have a great day and i'll see y'all next time on what boys garage all right everybody uh we got the next day here on part six uh, I got it all back together uh, last night. I got the exhaust done. I took it for a quick spin. So I'm here. Uh, yeah, just working it a little bit. Got this little unroller we got. And I rolled the front yard. So, seems to be running really good. Man, the tire looks a little low. But yeah, it seems to be running pretty dang good. So, that's a plus. So, excuse the wind if you hear the wind. It's really windy cold. Uh, got the hood back on. Blew off the engine this morning. So that's all good. Probably while I'll sit here, I'll check the tire pressure. But yeah, I got the whole front yard done and then over there in a section over there. So I wanted to work it good to see if that make it run a little bit. It's running really good. <laughs> that's basically all that engine looking pretty good. Looks like everything's staying tight. Everything's looking good. Exhaust is sounding amazing. So, yeah, working good. I greased it this morning, too. So you got grease down there. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, there is two there on the wheel. I'll grab this Back here now, not that I can see. So, I'll be all for part six, and that will be all for this video. Um, at the end of this series, so I'd like to thank you all for watching, tuning in, and supporting this build. Uh, please leave your comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell on the end for all the notifications and updates. All right, everybody. See y'all later. Boy out.